Hey guys, it's Dion from Demostech and today we are checking NFC tags and what they can do. So as you can see we have some NFC tags here. So what is an NFC tag? Now basically in this case it's just a sticker. And this sticker is actually have an antenna and a very, very small tiny chip with a memory in it. Now, there are multiple types of tags like this. This one is, as far as I remember, ntag 216, which has a particular amount of memory that it can have. Let's take a little bit closer look. At least let's try, I'm not really sure if we can focus on something like that. So if we we'll move like that, as you can see, there's something inside. So basically that's the antenna and the microchip and everything what's needed. So this is an NFC tag. Now our phones actually today, most of them have NFC inside. So that means they can receive and transmit data. Now this is mainly used for payments with Android Pay, if you know. You can quickly connect to some headphones with it, for example my Sony have those. And you can also use NFC tags. But why would you use NFC tags? So we can write commands in such an NFC tag. And as you saw in the preview, I basically planned this tag for example to switch the lights on my E-Light to blue. You can do kind of lots of stuff, for example and especially if your phone is rooted, you can actually do much more. Oh, I think I actually did it on, I think, that one, I don't remember, honestly. You are supposed to sort of tag them or something, let's see. Yeah, so, for example, this tag is actually switching to vibrate mode and also sets my alarm clocks for the next morning for work. So, that's awesome for me, I'm ready to work now. I'm not working tomorrow, so I have to cancel that. And since you want to turn off the lights from your bed sometimes, and you are not into telling to Google to do that, there is a tag that I wrote that will actually switch off the lights, and even close your browser. Now the e light is off. So NFC tags are very cheap, and you can write to them, you can read from them, it's very cool. Now, why the heck do we have here a Qi charger? So, my friend actually asked a very interesting question. Can a Qi charger damage an NFC tag? And honestly, my first impression was, I have no idea. Now, obviously I already checked it, I tried that, and I also read some information about it. It should not damage or do anything to your NFC tag. Now, the light on this uh, Ugreen Qi charger, which I actually reviewed in the past, will light in blue when it tries to charge something, but it still isn't connected. And it will be green if it's actually using Qi Charge and charging correctly. Now, my phone doesn't support Qi Charge. It's a Pixel to XL. If we'll put it, the light is blue. So it doesn't charge it. If we would put something that can charge with Qi Charge, it will turn green. So. Now let's put our NFC tag here, we can move it around, we can do whatever we want with it, the Qi charger will not recognize it. Something that I didn't actually test, let's try to actually put some of them, I don't know, in conjunction, one above, one at the bottom, I don't know, things like that, as you can see, nothing happens. Now this one, if you remember correctly, will actually set the alarms and switch my phone to vibrate mode. So, if we'll put the phone, it will at least try to charge. Now, basically, it's trying now to charge my phone. It cannot, but it's also trying to pass through the energy through the NFC tag. So, maybe it's damaging it? Well, actually not. And as far as I understood, those are totally different frequencies. So, let's see if it still works. Oh, my phone is actually already on silent. Let's put it out and see if that will work. Oh, that was actually the blue light. Sorry for that, but you can see it did work. So yeah, now my lights in the room are blue actually. 
you cannot see it in the camera because there are additional lights for the camera but it's actually blue in the room. Uh, as you can see NFC tags won't be damaged by chi charging which is awesome for us because it would be a pity if they would. Now how did I actually do that whole thing with uh, controlling the e-light? So I'm not going to actually show the method and everything how to do it in this video. Please comment in this video if you actually want me to do a full tutorial on how to do that and I'll do it. But for now basically uh, it's just IFTTT. You set there a webhook with a specific command and if it's actually entered you basically put the command to turn the e-light on or for a specific light whatever you prefer and then you write that url into an nfc tag and that thing i am going to show you how to do so in short there's an app that is called nfc tools and you can find it under play store very easy to use very intuitive basically you open it up and you have a read in our case we want to write into NFC tag, so we press write. As you can see we have add record and we have more options. Let's press on more options for a second. As you can see there are some things that you can do in the Pro and not in our version, but we're gonna stick to the free version. Add record. As you can see you have quite a lot of things that you can do. You can add a video link, it will basically open a video, so I can for example actually yeah, I, you know what? I'm gonna do it, I have an idea. In the next giveaway, I'll actually add, yeah, this thing, and I'll actually link it to a specific YouTube video. That's gonna be awesome. So you can pretty much add text, video, you can add a file, you can actually add Wi-Fi connection details, and I don't see it here, but you can, and I know it for sure. And as you can see, we have lots and lots of options here. So the Wi-Fi, you have some Bluetooth options, we have Bitcoin options. What? Let's see the Bitcoin options. Oh, you can actually already prepare the transfer for Bitcoin. Oh, that's awesome. If you want to receive money, that's a good idea. So yeah, you have lots of options. You can pretty much configure even custom options. As you saw, I made my phone go to vibrate mode and also set my alarm clocks. But it's not here, actually. For what I did with my phone, I used an NFC TAS. And that's sort of an additional, I think it's even the same developer. And you can basically configure additional tasks and additional things right from here. Basically, you have more control with that. And let's try to make an example. We're going to write a tag instead of a blue white. Let's go to social networks choose let's say Instagram and we can write here demo stack hit OK now we can write it to our tag so let's take our tag and keep in mind that usually the NFC tag works only if your phone is unlocked let's approach it and as you can see now it's written now we can quit the application actually and from any screen just approach the tag and it should open our Instagram. As you can see, this is Demostech Instagram. If you are not following us, go ahead and do so. So those are NFC tags, that's how it works. You can get them for very cheap, you can do lots of customizations with them, and it's pretty awesome tech, so you probably should give it a try. Thank you for watching this Demostech episode. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button and hit the bell so you won't miss any future video. And I'll see you on the next one.